What's up, tennis fans? I'm Lauren Lynch, and this is Tennis Now, your source for the latest tennis news now. Rumor has it that we will see Venus Williams making her return at the Aegon International in Eastburn, England. She has been absent since the Australian Open, where she injured her hip, and before that had not played since Wimbledon in 2010. Williams told the media, I'm really excited at the prospect of playing in Eastbourne. It provides perfect preparation on grass ahead of Wimbledon, a tournament I really love and where I really want to perform well again this year. The defending Wimbledon champion Serena Williams may tag along with her big sis after being away for almost a year. Tennis.com says there is a wild card waiting for Serena at Eastbourne. Williams' new trainer, Mackie Shillstone, told Nakia Hogan of the Times Picayune that there are plans for her to play in a pre Wimbledon tournament to prepare for the upcoming Grand Slam tournament. Shillstone told Hogan she competes against these Eastern Europeans like Wozniacki, who is number one right now, and these Eastern European young women have this tough mentality of training hard, but they don't hold a candle to Serena Williams. It's her mental discipline and fortitude that she pulls from that I just don't see out there. She would put football players to shame. Football players all think they are tough because they are in a collision sport, but I don't think they can hold a candle to Serena Williams because they are too pampered. Serena Williams was never pampered. Moving on to James Watterson, who will let you know the latest results going on at the tournaments and the latest ranking news. Thanks, Lauren. Well, we've already seen some fallout from the various results of Roland Garros. Women's champion Li Na rose from number 7 to number 4 in the rankings, and Maria Sharapova climbed from number 8 to number 6 after reaching the semifinals. Meanwhile, Francesca Schiavone, this year's finalist and last year's champion, lost 600 points and dropped from number 5 to number 7, and Samantha Stozer fell from 6 to 10th. Yelena Yankovic experienced the largest drop of the top players as she slipped from 10th to 15th. Because neither of the Williams sisters played the French Open this year, both of them fell in the rankings as well. Serena dropped to 25th and Venus to 32nd in the world. Now on the men's side, Rafael Nadal preserved his number one ranking with his win against Roger Federer in the finals of the French Open on Sunday. Although he managed to keep his top spot, Novak Djokovic is only 45 points away from Nadal after he got to the French Open semifinals. Now there are two Americans in the top 10 this week as Marty Fish climbed to the 9th spot and Andy Roddick claimed the 10th. Both of them moved up a spot after Jurgen Melzer, last year's French Open semifinalist, dropped a ton of points after losing in the second round. Now Juan Ignacio Chela profited the most from the French Open as he climbed 14 spots to number 20 after he got to the quarterfinals. Well, the French Open may have just ended, but neither the ATP nor the WTA players are taking a break as they are already preparing for Wimbledon. There are four tournaments this week, two for the men and two for the women. The men are competing at the AEGON Championships at the Queen's Club in London and at the Gary Weber Open in Alla, Germany. Now the, the Queen's Club has a blockbuster lineup with such big names as French Open champion Rafael Nadal, Andy Murray, Stanislas Wawrinka, Joe Wilfried Sanga, and Andy Roddick as the top seeded players. None of them played today, but we did have some notable matches. Sam Querrey defeated Japan's Key Nishikori in the straight sets, Tomas Bellucci came back from a set down to take out Grigor Dimitrov, and Feliciano Lopez beat Dmitry Tursunov in straight sets. Because this is the first grass court tournament after the French Open, some of the players are trying to get as much on-court time as possible by entering the doubles event. Now this, is, this has led to some video game-like pairings. For example, Juan Martin Del Potro is teaming up with Radek Stepanik, and they're playing the team of Andy Roddick and David Dombanian, of all people, in the first round. In Germany, Roger Federer headlines a field that includes Gael Monfils and Thomas Burdich. Being the higher seeds, they didn't play their singles matches today, but there were some other notable names that did take to the court. Philip Kohlschreiber cruised by Cedric Marcel Stibb in straight sets. Yen Sun Lu beat Jarko Niemann, and 218th ranked Jan Ernich upset Sergei Sturkowski in three tight sets. Now Monfils, Milos Reinic, and Berdych will all play tomorrow, so check our website throughout the day to keep up with their results. Now on the women's side, Caroline Wojniacki is the top seed in Copenhagen, and she leads a field that includes Bethany maddox sands and Lucy Savarova. In Birmingham, Kaya Kanepi, Anna Ivanovich, and Peng Shui are the top seeded players. Keep checking www.tennisnow.com throughout the week to keep up with how your favorite players are doing at the pre-Wimbledon warm-up events. Back to you, Lauren. 
Thank you, James. Apparently, you can get even closer to Andy Murray. In a new ad campaign with Head Rackets, Andy made a rather comical ad about how pressing the like button on Facebook will give you access to him on court, in bed, and even in the shower. Check out this clip. Closer, you can write messages to Andy on the Head Facebook page. He will select his favorites and these will be printed on a tennis racket bag he takes onto the center court during Wimbledon with Head's new limited edition white master combi bag. Pretty fun, huh? What are you going to write him? Let us know in the comment section below. Well, that wraps us up for today, tennis fans. Be sure to subscribe to the Tennis Now YouTube channel. Click that button right up there. And also remember to go onto Facebook right now as we have a competition where you can make Tennis Now your profile picture, tag Tennis Now, and you can win $300 from American Express. Huge, huge, huge. Go onto Facebook now and do it. I'm Lauren Lynch and this is Tennis Now. Thanks for watching. See you later.